You're watching InfoLive TV for Wednesday, April 16th. I'm Elisha Rabin. Three soldiers from the elite Kibanti unit were killed today near the border with Gaza. The unit was preparing to arrest a group of Palestinians who had planted a bomb near the fence with Kibbutz Ein Be'eri and were preparing to cross into Israel. After chasing down the terrorists, the soldiers were ambushed by a Hamas cell that had been lying low in anticipation of the soldiers' arrival. Israel restarted fuel supplies to Gaza after suspending shipments due to the Nahal Oz terrorist attack. Palestinian terrorists had crossed the border with Israel to attack the Nahal Oz fuel station, which provides Gaza with fuel. That happened last week. Defense Minister Ehud Barak told those in charge that fuel shipments should restart, but there was a delay after the attack on IDF forces today that killed three soldiers. Opposition leader Benjamin Netanyahu told reporters in a press conference that Iran indeed poses a grave threat to the existence of Israel, as well as the sovereignty of the surrounding Arab states. He then said that U.S. intelligence report that was released last fall that disputed Iran's drive to develop nuclear weapons has lessened pressure from the international community on Iran. Iran's near-constant parading of its ever-expanding uranium enrichment capabilities spells nothing peaceful. Prime Minister Omer told Mahmoud Abbas he could have an area that makes up roughly 64 percent of the West Bank. The offer would also include a section of Jerusalem, with Israel maintaining control over western Jerusalem and the holy sites. No word from Abbas's camp regarding whether the PA will accept or come back with a counteroffer. Former U.S. President Jimmy Carter plans to move ahead with plans to meet with two Hamas members in Cairo. Carter had wanted to visit members of Hamas in Gaza, but Israel rejected his request to cross through the border. Carter wants to understand the viewpoint of Hamas, and a Hamas spokesman has said that meeting with the former U.S. president is a way to clarify their position to the world. Rowdy soccer fans are no surprise, but the police are taking special measures to keep things in order at next Wednesday's State Cup semifinals in Tel Aviv. Concerns rose after fans in Jerusalem invaded the field following a match. Police didn't interfere. They were worried stopping the crowd would cause people to be trampled. Inflation in Israel is still growing. That comes even as the shekel rises against other currencies. Inflation stayed on target in March at 3.7 percent for the year. Calculations say prices in March climbed 0.3 percent. You're watching InfoLive TV, Israel's only Internet TV network, broadcasting in four languages from Jerusalem.